the Scots Women of the Year Awards are a fantastic thing that it really does kind of show women in the, the best light possible and the, the ceremony itself is such a great evening. Somebody el earlier on was saying there's a, a great sense of sisterhood in the, the room so I think it's really really good. I think it's very important, very important for Glasgow and it's very important for women who are trying to achieve things in their everyday life to see other people being recognised for having got there. dumbfounded and even more so when I saw all the footage of all what the other women had done just fantastic stuff I really I didn't even put lipstick on <laughs> because I was so sure that you know I wasn't going to get it so I, I'm absolutely delighted it was such a knockback at the beginning that you know it takes weeks if not months to come to terms with it and then you start thinking right what can we do here what can we do the, the, the amount of care hours is laughable, you know, lots of things. House adaptations cost more in Scotland than they did in any other part of the British Isles, so we've got that sorted too, you know. Just slowly, slowly, uh, the, the government has listened. We are going to be Eileen McCallum and Dorothy Ball and Una McLean and all these women, um, you know, and I remember seeing Anna Steamy and all the things that she did, thinking, oh my goodness, that woman's famous, and she's got a Scottish accent, maybe, maybe I could do something. But you know, that aside, Eileen's won this tonight not because of her TV, you know, TV credits and all the rest. She's done it because she's got two grandsons that she battles for every day. And I thought Tony then summed it up because he said, you know, she's at a stage in her life where maybe she's putting her feet up, relaxing, but she doesn't. Um, and she does this all for the love of her two boys and to try and help other families that maybe go through the same thing. So I completely deserve a winner, as were all the finalists. They all deserve to be there.